Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and I am pumped to be finally bringing to you some footage on the new 20 FBS Rockwood Geo Pro. I originally saw this like eight months ago, and it is awesome that it's finally making it here into production. This is a walk around front queen bed couples rig with a sofa slide. That's really going to be the quickest way I can boil it down, but that is really sell this one short. I think it's a really cool alternative to something like a 19 FPS Rockwood Geo Pro. It has a sofa slide as well. It's an east west bed. This one's a little bit longer, but it does give us a bed that we can walk around without a Murphy bed like the 19 FD. That's what's kind of cool about this one. It's almost like if you took the best qualities of the FBS and the FD and mashed them together into one little Geo Pro Asdell solar off-road baby, that's what this one would be right here. It's got that griddle station that we like, uh, the, the standard 190 watt solar package on the roof, the 1000 watt inverter to be able to run all of the household outlets when you are away from the parks and off the grid. Uh, she's ready for second battery. She's lithium battery friendly. Uh, we've got her decked out today with optional 12 volt tank heaters. There's just a laundry list of things that make this one an awesome camper. What I would love though, is if you could leave me some feedback as we go, let me know what would you change given the opportunity and uh, what, what do you like about it? Let us know that too, so that we can make sure the factory knows what they're doing right, which is sometimes just as important. I will tell you, it does have one hiccup. We'll show you that later. You can't access the bedroom with this or bathroom rather with the slide clothes, which really surprised me on this one. But giving you those straight facts like that, that's how you know you can always buy with confidence from us here at our family owned and operated facility at Halid RV. The colors are light and bright. The interior still feels rich and warm and welcoming. The moment I first stepped inside the original prototype of this one, I was like, yep, that's a winner, baby, right there. I love the window coverage on this, too. You know, this is not a floor plan that when I looked at it, I would have said, yeah, that's going to have some great door side window coverage. But between the big kitchen window, the bedside window, and the full viewing window in the entry door, it does pretty well. Now, I'm sitting on the sofa right now. And the TV is fully flush and recessed against the wall. You can see it's still pretty easy to see, but you can actually pivot it uh, toward you a little bit. What's also nice is because of that, you can also pivot it toward the uh, bed for evening viewing as well. Um, one of the things here that they did is they really took some notes from Big Brother Mini Light and they incorporated a very similar underbed storage solution here. You see how any furniture Rockwood makes in-house, it's always that aluminum cage skeleton. That's just what they do. You've got the double gas struts for easy lift there, and it's a small platform, so it's already pretty easy to lift. And with the drawers below, it creates like a two-tier storage situation here where you have a dedicated like chest for big stuff, well, you know, heavier stuff, sweaters, jeans, etc. Um, but you've also got a pair of dresser drawers for your little stuff every day. And that is something little campers very often do not have. Similarly, actually having hanging closets on both sides of the bed, little trailers very typically just don't. There will be a cabinet there, but it is very often not made for hanging clothes. So that's another little bonus here. Now, if you don't care about hanging clothes, you could always throw a shelf into it and make your own dresser space. And once again, really the, the entire point of this floor plan, because the 19 FBS is one of the most popular Rockwood Geo Pros, and this is not replacing it. It was to give you a like a front north-south bed that most of the Geo Pros, other than the 19 FD Murphy bed, didn't offer. So finally, they have a walk-around non-Murphy bed solution here. You'll see that both side stands, nice and wide open, very CPAP friendly. You won't feel like a, you're, you're stuffed inside a sausage casing over here, you know. You don't got to crawl over one another to use the bed at, or bathroom at night. Yeah, use the bed at night. That was smart. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but uh, household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed is a nice little touch. Now, this RV actually has shorter sidewalls, which help keep the, the height in check. But it does vault up pretty severely. And one of the cool things here is like, if uh, I flip the camera around to myself, even right over here by the sidewall, as tall as I am, I still have plenty of headroom in here. All that vault is going to do is just really open it up and uh, make it just look and feel far more open and warm and welcoming, basically. Good lighting package in here as well. Like, check this out. If you, uh, you kill all the main cabin lights, it's like, I mean, literally, a night and day difference. It's pretty extreme. Now, the sofa slide over here, you can see, uh, you know, handy little bench. And those little uh, extra bonus things that Rockwood does, like including that little kind of 
faux sofa fascia to give you a place to actually, you know, keep a drink while you're sitting in the slide. It's those extra things they do that just not everybody does, you know? Like extra storage overhead within the slide. It's those extra little thing Rockwood does. Now you might be wondering, why did they make the doors flip down? And I don't know that I necessarily have the answer, but I do have a theory. It's not the world's tallest, biggest cabinet. If that door flipped up kind of like what you would expect, it would you'd have to kind of duck under it a little bit to get in here. And you're already kind of ducking into the slide out. I don't think they want you to have to army belly crawl through this thing. So by virtue of the fact that the door flips down, it just makes all the storage space more readily, easily accept, uh, acceptable. Nope. Accessible is what I was looking for and failed to say. But again, it's just a theory. What do you think about something like that? I think it's kind of a smart solution. If it gets me a little extra storage and I don't got a monkey with it too awful hard, I'm all for it personally. And you might have noticed that little cinema style sofa armrest that you can flip down there. You could flip it up out of the way if you're looking for more of a love seat situation or you're looking to lounge. Uh, additionally, this RV does have a little floating Dynofa table that actually stores right behind the sofa, which is cool. And you can, of course, flip that down into a little guest sleeper or a big dog sleeper or a, uh, oops, my husband got in trouble kind of sleeper. <laughs> Whatever works for you. Now, another neat thing here. Um, did you notice when it was in sleeper mode, those are roll down blackout night shades and they go way past the window. So if you really want to blot out the sun and privatize it in here, you absolutely can. Now, the uh, kitchen in this is actually pretty darn good for such a small trailer. Um, you do have the option of going with a uh, an oven, a propane oven, as opposed to the cabinetry space here. But in this little camper, I think that storage space is really, really valuable as uh, compared to the oven. Now, everyone's uh, camp's a little bit different. I understand that. I recognize that. Like, maybe you would prefer a convection microwave and or the, the propane oven. Both are available in this camper. If you don't like what you're seeing here, remember, this is just one example. The other things that we might, the other copies that we have in stock at Halid RV might be outfitted a little bit differently. And if they're not, we can always get you one built. This is not to say this is the only way we're willing to sell this trailer whatsoever. Sometimes I don't think folks necessarily recognize that. Uh, sealed edge thermal foil counters here in this kitchen. Now, Again, your kitchen space is limited, but it's a small trailer. They did the best they could. That big three burner stovetop, obviously, with the glass cover, and then you see the rollaway drying rack for that new and improved. This is easily one of the best enhancements they made to the Geo Pros compared to the previous seasons. Getting a bigger sink in there that you can actually use. That previous sink, you could barely even wash your hands in it. You could hardly wash a spoon. <laughs> the uh, TV up here, by the way, it's both 110 and 12 volt. Now you notice how over there on the stereo you don't see DVD. That's because that's actually built into the television. It's just another one of those over the top things Rockwood likes to do. Or if you prefer streaming stuff, this RV is outfitted with uh, the Wi-Fi Ranger system. So if you wanna tap into the park Wi-Fi or upgrade to like an LTE uh, pay-as-you-go plan, this is capable of doing that too. Now I mentioned this briefly earlier, but every household outlet in this RV is wired to uh, the thousand watt inverter. So like those outlets over there beside the sofa or say uh, the bedside outlets where we're sitting for CPAP use or over here uh, next to that uh, LCI one control capable uh, control panel right there. You want a coffee maker, you can, you can run that stuff if you're off grid. Remember, uh, running an inverter, though, will sap your batteries a little faster. So if you're going to be doing that, make sure you have a power plan in place effectively. Obviously, you notice that we're completely carpetless. We're ventless flooring. We're easy cleaning. And this has the biggest bathroom, I think, of any of the Rockwood Geo Pros. Uh, I, I think that that's going to be a very big factor for a lot of people. That big XL vent fan, all this extra handy storage, like that could be your kitchen pantry space right there. You might have noticed how everything's all hidden hinged, by the way. Um, the extra counter space over here, that's a nice touch. In a little bathroom, that's more counter space than I see in some bigger trailers, even maybe some fifth wheels. Porcelain foot flush stool here with plenty of room for a bigger guy like me. You got to understand though, with that reduced sidewall height and that vaulted ceiling, the shower, uh, you, you got to kind of, I don't know, just realize what you're getting into here. And again, I'm going out of my way to show you things that for you folks to consider so that you're making sure you're getting the right camper. I, I hope you appreciate that. On a camper like this, I definitely need my head in the bubble to stand in the shower. But 
if you look at like where the shower head is located, that's really not a ridiculous request. You know, that's where you're going to be standing regardless. You see, they got the handy little shower caddy over there. And like all Geo Pros, this is really where the whole shower miser madness started in the industry. That little water saver system. If you are boondocking, dry camping, or whatever you want to call it, it is a great way to avoid wasting water. And again, this is the biggest shower I think I've seen, the biggest bathroom I think I've seen in any of the Geo Pros. And now when we close that slide out, look at it in travel mode. This is actually the one thing on this floor plan that really surprised me, not necessarily in a positive fashion. And I hope you appreciate the fact that we take the extra time and effort to close things up like this and potentially even point out a few points of consideration like this that might make you go, hmm, might, might make you have to kind of think twice about a camper. We are always doing our best to provide the best and fairest information. Because at a glance, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I can totally get through this. I can get to the kitchen, I can get to everything. But because Rockwood does Rockwood things, and they do things like add those extra cup holders and the nice big, like, you know, sofa bolster fascia on their uh, slide out, it is blocking the bathroom door from opening here unless you open it at least partially, which on this type of slide system, on a Schwintec slide system, is not recommended. Now, here's the good news. That's not a terribly deep slide. This is not a super wide body camper. Chances are you can probably still open the slide uh, within a parking space, like at a rest stop, and not interfere with somebody else. But like if you're at a rest stop or a Cracker Barrel, you could probably go in and use their bathroom anyway. I, I don't know that it necessarily stops me from going camping with this one. I just know that there's going to be some people who really want to know about that. And if you like the fact that we took the time to show you, hit that subscribe button and let's hop outside. Man, that is just... That is just a good looking little spaceship right there, isn't it? Those little kind of bronzy orange accents always catch my eye. Uh, I don't know. To me, I love the linear lines. I like the look of it. It kind of looks like it's moving even when it's sitting still. So uh, again, at 3,300 and some odd pounds, empty weight, by the time you load it to cargo, what are you going to want to tow this with? I think this is a good option for a tow package SUV. Like if you've got a 5,500 pound tow rating, I think that this would be a really good fit for you. And obviously the bigger your vehicle, the more capable it becomes, uh, the, the better off you're going to be. Like all the GL Pros, we've got uh, the, the handy little griddle station over here. But one of the things that's easy to miss is that this is a outside storage compartment over here. Rockwood does a lot of little compartments over on little corners like that, but very often it's for things like a water filter. I was glad to see that's just wide open storage because basically this is uh, sort of like behind the sink. This isn't an area that you wouldn't be able to easily get to from the inside. Now, Rockwood does a key-like system, kind of similar to Jayco, where you're not using the same 751 numbered key that everybody and their brother uses. You've only This camper only comes with two keys, and the one is a copy of the other. You only need one key with this to go camping. Another thing that's kind of cool, speaking of keys, is you have a programmable deadbolt keypad on that main entry door. So if you do want to go, say, biking or hiking or something like that, you don't want to take the chance of a key wiggling out of your pocket or whatever, no worries. You don't even got to bring the key with you. Now, uh, if you look up top, you can kind of see a couple cool things here. You can see that big XL Max Air vent fan cover, and notice how it doesn't stick up really any further past than the uh, low-profile air conditioner and that Wi-Fi Ranger TV antenna. Uh, th that's one of the cool things about this, is that the exterior height on these tends to stay pretty conservative. Now, just to give you a quick look up there, I got some extra little flyby footage just to give you a better look at things. One of those that you'll get a better look at is that 190 watt uh, roof solar panel right there. And the charge controller on this is capable of accepting a second one of those from the factory. It's actually offered from the factory as well. Plus, we've got a simple side mount solar prep plug here. So if you add the second panel to the roof and get a portable panel, I, I don't know that you're ever going to exhaust your 12 volt supply unless you just sit there running the slide in and out constantly trying to make it an issue. Now this does have four corner front and rear stabilizer jacks. I point that out just because mm, some little campers don't. There, there, many still do, but that is not a thing that you can just assume 100% of the time. And everything on a GL Pro is a little different, even their width. This is a really weird seven foot four inches wide. It's still narrow body, but it's not quite as narrow as some, but still a little more narrow than others, but it works. That 
target body size along with the double Asdell that they use in the lamination. It's Asdell inside and outside on your sidewalls, front and rear wall. Because even though this does have a beautiful front spaceship nose cap, it still has a one inch laminated kind of thermal consistency barrier on the front wall as well. It's a crazy thing Rockwood does that almost nobody else does and a lot of people don't even know about. Kind of like a, a double propane tank with an auto changeover regulator, like a big mini light, but here on a single axle platform. Now this one is again, slightly longer than some of the others. That's how they were able to accommodate that walk around bed. But you know, now you don't have to jimmy the bed up and down like a Murphy bed. Now you don't have to crawl over one another at night, which is nice. You got that standard off-road package on these with their uh, torsion axle system and suspension system, giving us a nice smooth ride. The bigger tires run a little bit cooler. So even if you're not going off-road, the bigger tires will actually uh, tend to run not as hot because they don't circle as frequently. And your sewer stuff has plenty of clearance. So if there's a speed bump at a campground, even campgrounds that have nice smooth paved driveways like it's sitting on right now, those things, I swear, always have like a speed bump just trying to rip something off the bottom of your trailer. But now you don't got to worry about that. We're back up camera ready. Um, that is a 250 pound rated ladder. I believe I have stated that incorrectly or they have bulked it up uh, as compared to previous videos. I'm not sure. For some reason in my head, I always had that pegged as a 200 pound rated ladder. That is 250, the sticker's right on there. And it might vary by floor plan a little bit. I don't know, I just know that this one is 250 for sure. Another thing here, we got our outside utility shower, camp shower, hot and cold on the back, but all of our like hookups, they're all just kinda bam, in one little spot right there, including an antifreeze inlet, which is a rather uncommon thing. So when it is winterization time, when you gotta give her the old pink drink of sleep, you don't gotta take that sticky jug of antifreeze inside and risk accidentally, you know, sloshing something around and really making something that's not fun even more not fun. So what do you think, guys? Overall, I'm glad this is out here. I like, too, that they didn't just take the 19 FBS and just make it a walk around bed, which I wouldn't have been opposed to, but I like that they gave it a little bit of its own shape and character. They kind of revamped it a little and it brings a new floor plan into the Geo Pro lineup instead of an alternative version of an existing one. I like that. I like that duality rather than just being a carbon copy that's just been stretched a little bit. Although, again, if I'm being honest, I don't think a walk around bed in a 19 FPS would have been that bad of an option either. Probably would have saved them some engineering efforts, but hey, either way. Let us know what you think. If you like the extra efforts that we go to for you here at Halid RV, hit the like button on the video, hit that subscribe button, and continue to follow along with us as we always do our best to do the most. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halid camping, everyone.